Hello, my lovely people. Hi, my friends and family. Good to have you all back today. Oh, it's another day. Welcome back to my channel. Okay. Oh, first of all, I am so grateful to all of you that participated on this my channel to be where we are today. I've got 12 subscribers and I got over 100 and something views. I'm so happy. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate. And I, I, I pray you, we do more in this our little space till we get to a bigger space. <laughs> thank you very much for those of you that subscribed, those of you that viewed, those of you that commented and the thumbs up, I'm so grateful. Thank you, I appreciate. Thank you, thank you. Gracias, 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 mi amores. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, I hope every one of us is doing very well. As for me, I'm very, I'm very, very fine. I'm very, very okay. Coupled with uh, what, what happened yesterday. I am so grateful to God. And I'm so very grateful for the way things are just going. I am happy. I'm just so happy. So I, I thought I should share what happened to me during my interview at the U.S. consulate in Lagos. I want to just share my experience. It can inspire someone or it can also encourage someone. So let's get there. Uh, my interview, I got my interview letter April, exactly 24 months of waiting. I got my interview letter April 25th, yeah. And my interview was in June. So, uh, when it was my around that period around June okay um, around ending May I got to Lagos and then on the 7th of June I had to get close to the US consulate there on the island because I was staying on the mainland and my interview time was 6 30 in the morning God <laughs> I was like what How am I gonna find myself there by 6 30 in the morning so I had to move closer to the place. I got a, 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 I booked a hotel I was gonna lodge and I lodged there on the seventh. Then in the morning, I lodged there, I booked an Uber or a taxi man. Luckily for me, it was very easy to get a taxi man. The man came and I got the, um, around six, around five, 45 yeah I got the five for I'm when I got the <laughs> the crowd I met there was like I was like God these people did they sleep here <laughs> how did they find themselves here <laughs> so early before I even I mean I was even shouting I was saying to myself I'm, I'm so early I'm so early why can't I just I met a whole lot of people there and my brothers and sisters planning to go to U.S. consulate for interview, please avoid this set of people I'm about to tell you. You see, when once you just enter the, the route that leads to the U.S. consulate, people will be coming and be telling you all manner of things you've not done, all the things you have to do, uh, where, what to do and what not. Please avoid them, otherwise they will end up confusing you. That was how I fell victim. They confused me and then ended up photocopying, printing what I was not supposed to. I didn't need those documents at all, but I printed them. But at first I didn't, I didn't let them. I had to go confirm, but I confirmed it with the wrong person. I was supposed to confirm it by um, uh, an immigrant applicant, but I went to uh, a non-immigrant non applicant. So that was where I got it wrong, and I ended up photocopying what I didn't need. But that's by the way. So after I joined the queue, um, I got screened so when you when you get screened you you go into the waiting room waiting hall for for the next call so I was waiting the way you file in that's how you sit down no scattering no altering of anything you the way you file in that's how you be called so but when it got when it got to my turn when it got to my turn 
the, the guy skipped me. He didn't call me. Rather, he called the next person and the rest of the people on the, on the row. Because I was the first on the row. But he, 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 he left me and called the next person and the rest of them on the row. I called his attention. Man, why haven't you called me? What's happening? You've been calling one after the other, but why skip me? He said, ma'am, wait, you'll be called. I said, okay. I didn't know it was God that was just working for my favor, paving ways for me to get my desired interviewer. Let's keep going. So I was finally called, and I went to the next point of screening, and then I finally got to the interview hall. The hall is just an open space. It's not something you have a one-on-one -on -one with your interviewer, no. You will be standing right there. So many people will be standing windows by windows, and whatever the man is asking you or whatever your responses will be, everybody will hear. If you are granted the visa, everybody will know. If you are not granted, we will still know. So when I got there, and luckily for us, there was not enough seats. So I had to stand. I stood there for over 30 minutes, then finally I was called by um, the person that was screen my documents. This time around, the documents you were asked to print and photocopy. Those were the ones that, that were screened in the interview hall. So when I got the I greeted him, it was like, okay, let me see your passport, let me see your um, birth certificate, your marriage certificate, um, your, your, your wedding photos. Those, are, those were the only documents he asked. And I showed him, he collected all of them and he was just admiring my wedding pics. He was like, you were so beautiful on your wedding day. You looked so amazing. Don't worry, just go have a seat. You, your visa will be approved. I was like, okay, thank you very much. Thank you for, it, for the encouragement. Thank you. Luckily for me, I got a seat, I sat. But what I noticed was, was this very interviewer by my right hand side, she didn't approve anybody. Is that she will tell you, I'm sorry, we cannot give you this visa, or she will tell you, the documents are not complete. Who? Who, 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 and there was another one right in front of me. If you get, if you're lucky to be interviewed by him, then you're good to go. <laughs> he won't ask you unnecessary questions compared to this other um, interviewer that will, that will hammer you with questions. Um, the questions this woman was just, was just asking people, it was out of this world. He will ask, she will ask. What kind of car, what kind of vehicle is your fiancé or husband driving? What kind of apartment is this thing? Is it a single room? Is it a single family house or, or, or a rented apartment? Yeah. She was just asking questions upon questions. Even before I was called, this particular lady she called, before I was even called by my interviewer. And I, I, I finished everything and left. But she was still interviewing the woman. <laughs> when I finished my own interview, I was like, what? What is this woman asking this lady? Why can't she just release her on my mind? I didn't say it out. <laughs> so I, I got scared. I was like, God, please let this woman not call me. Let my documents not get to, his, to her window. Please, please just help me. Just help me. And as for this one opposite me, right in front of me, I want to be interviewed by him. Please, just do this for me. I, 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 just, I was just praying that on my mind. I don't know what prompted me to look his direction. Immediately I looked his direction, I saw that he was with my documents. I, I was not really sure, but I had to look very well. I, I, I wore my glasses very well and I looked very, very well. Yes, it was my documents. <laughs> Lo and behold, they were my documents. <clears throat> and that was it. Before I, I, I even finished thanking God in my mind, I had applicant number 42 to window 8. 
ha i said i started singing on my mind finally the lord has done it on my mind no i didn't sing out to <laughs> before they would chase me out of the interview i got there the man asked me the man didn't ask me up to 10 questions it wasn't even up to eight questions he asked me what questions did he ask me who who applied for you uh, um, um, where does he stay where does he work um, does he send you money have you guys been communicating since can i see your chat log what else did the man ask me he asked me just six questions just six questions okay okay he asked again when was your marriage no he did not ask he didn't ask it was just six questions that he asked me and that was it before i could say jack robinson i had Congratulations, ma'am. Your visa has been approved. I wait your passport in the next three weeks. I was like, wow. Thank you, sir. He handed over my documents to me. I had to sit down and calm down. I went back, sat down, and calmed down, and arranged my documents and took my leave. Hmm. That was it to my people. <laughs> my people, that was it. Who knows what would have happened if that other man did not delay me at the waiting room? Who knows if I would have been called by this other interviewer? <laughs> that was how God gave me my desired interviewer, or my friends and family. And another thing that got me so surprised was he told me to expect my, in, my, my passport in the next three weeks. But my friends and family, my, my passport was ready the next day. My interview was on the 8th and my passport was ready on the 9th. I didn't know. If not that, I said to myself on the third day, let me just go check my dashboard so I will know when there will be changes. That's when my visa will be ready. I will know what to expect, the information to expect. But when I logged in, I saw, I checked the particular place I am supposed to. Your passport is ready for, for pickup. I was like, which passport? Is it the same passport I am to? I was told to expect in the next three weeks. Oh my God! It was late already. I would have found myself on the island. <laughs> the next day, I went straight. I picked up my my documents, my passport. I opened. And so my visa stamped in the middle. <laughs> my brothers, my sisters, all oh, my friends. I was the most happiest person on earth that day. At last, the long awaited awaited day was 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 on the 9th of June. I got my visa. I looked it. I looked it and it was real. It wasn't a dream. Something I was waiting for for over 26 months. Over 26 months. It was a very long wait. It was a very long wait. During the wait period, it was not all fun. <laughs> it wasn't all fun at all. Though I had some fun moments and I had some down moments. Just like how life is full of ups and downs. So I want to, I want to encourage uh, someone out there. Maybe you have been waiting on God for something and it seems it's taking a very long time or it seems God is not gonna grant it. No, he will at his own appointed time. I want to just tell you to just wait for his own appointed time. And, and that's the best time. Just keep holding on, keep hanging on. He hasn't forgotten you. He has not. He will grant those desires of yours. But while waiting, try and make your waiting period memorable. Okay? Just try. I know it's not easy. It's not easy at all. 
but try and make it a memorable one thank you very much all of you thank you i am so grateful please before you go don't forget to subscribe like comment and share me out then turn on your notification bell so you get updates on every new videos i upload thank you very much my friends and my family thank you thank you very much and uh, till we meet again bye for now